So John, I'm so excited to spend this time with you on this gorgeous blue ribbon day on this pristine beach with Princess. And I want to say congratulations because you have a big responsibility now as president. What's that like for you having this new position? You know, as, as president of Princess, it's a huge responsibility with our fleet of ships, our incredible destinations that you can see here at Princess Keys. It's just our intent to raise the bar on how we think about our environment, sustainability, minimizing our impact. Couldn't be more excited to talk to you about that. So as president of Princess, you're juggling a lot. It's about providing incredible memories and experiences for the guests. It's about the family of employees, the tens of thousands of people that work with us to deliver these incredible journeys. But it's also about the environment, a sustainability mission. You've raised a really high bar for that, haven't you? The bar is the highest. I mean, when you look at it, it's epic. Look at that beautiful Enchanted Princess. Look at the beautiful clear blue Bahama waters, the sand beach, the trees. Look, beauty is our business. So we wanna do everything possible to make sure it stays that way. And Jeff, on this ship alone, the Enchanted Princess, we have invested over $25 million in environmental systems. And as you know, we have 15 ships. So that means we've spent hundreds of millions of dollars on environmental equipment to minimize our impact. So John, you're talking about state-of-the-art technology aboard all these ships, like the Enchanted Princess, that's designed to reduce our impact, to be more sustainable. Explain that. Well, these ships are literally the smartest cities in the world. And it's an entire system working together that is not just the physical ship and all the environmental systems, but all the policies and supply chain and people being trained, all working together, which collectively minimize our impact and focus on the environment. So whether we're on the beach here, there's protocols in place to reduce our impact, whether we're aboard ship, just about every element of the cruise experience has connected to sustainability. John, explain the achievement today with single-use plastics. As of today, Jeff, we've reduced 50% of our single-use plastics over the last few years. So items like straws, toothpicks, cups, single-use plastics that normally we would have just thrown away these are now renewable, recyclable materials or alternatives altogether. John, today, Princess has set this mission, this goal, to be sustainable. And it's great for the planet, it's good for this beach, it's good for the people aboard that ship. It's just great company policy, but there have been challenges. Compliance issues of the past became a catalyst for everything we do focused on the environment, whether it's people, process, and technology. It's all now considered when we're thinking about minimizing our impact to the environment. So those challenges from the past are now building blocks of foundation to a better, more sustainable future. Absolutely, Jeff. It is a journey and it's one that we're gonna continue on, but I'm confident that I can say that this ship is now an icon in how to minimize waste. And it's something that cities around the world could come study the processes that exist on a cruise ship as it relates to waste minimization. So what are some of the other goals with regard to sustainability you guys are looking to achieve? Well, I'll tell you, Jeff, even if you're the most adamant recycler at home, you have no idea how much waste leaves your home on a daily basis. Well, on a cruise ship, because it's a complete ecosystem, we know everything. We know how much glass is recycled, plastics is recycled, uh, metal, and food. And food is a big uh, element of waste. And we've reduced food waste by over 30% in recent years. And why is that important? How does that contribute to sustainability? Because the lower waste, the lower impact. It's that simple. So lower waste, lower impact, reduce in greenhouse gases, and reduce in the unconsumed material that could end up in the environment. Yeah, it's this combination of the most advanced technology in the world, fused with biological processes, and great behavior by our team members and guests that we work with them on to understand how to minimize that waste, and we can all feel good about enjoying this environment. John, I think it'd be cool if we could experience and check out these technologies for sustainability for ourselves. Well, what we're gonna do, Jeff, on Ocean Treks Conservation Connections is we're gonna travel the world, we're gonna to go to the most beautiful places in the world, and simultaneously, we're gonna show all the people, processes, technology, all working together to minimize that impact to the environment and focus on sustainability and conservation. All right, let's do it. Yeah.